Rick. I'm Milani. And thank you for listening. Milani, what do you want to talk about? I want to talk about Joe Budden. Why? And Sin Santana. <laughs> yes. She's so fine. She is. She's a beautiful girl, but she rubbed black girls the wrong way. <laughs> how many how many women have rubbed black women the wrong well, way? Well, she rubbed us the wrong way because she... This is, this is sad. I, I feel bad. I'm not, like, excited that this has happened, but she rubbed black women the wrong way saying she likes to date black men because they spoil her. They attend to her. Now, for me, girl, get your spoil on. I feel like that's across the board for any woman. If you need to date somebody that spoils you and treats you good do it like mm-hmm. i don't have a problem with that mm-hmm. if, if if it was a certain race of men that spoil you and treat you good and that's why you date that race of men that's fine admit it like don't say it's because of other reasons just say that's what you like I so black, man. I just men. a lot of men maybe any race like to spoil women if they have the money yeah. If they had the means to do it, I don't think it's I just mean, black men. Maybe that's the case, but like there are men who have preferences and they tend to treat other women better than mm. others. I mean, they have a type and they're gonna treat their type and spoil their type. So True. if you are if if you notice that you're the type of certain kinds of guys and that's who you go date, that's what you should be doing in the first place. Like I don't do what you gotta. Yeah, so what you wanna. that's what she basically said. And okay. Black women got real upset because they felt a certain kind of way, and it's She's really not. Latina. What's the? I think I think it about? was because she was kind of like, like the way they say it was she was braggy and like that. So fast forward. She's fine. You know, she has a baby with Joe Budden. She's been dating Joe for a while, and they're not together anymore. And now she's struggling, just like every other black woman to get him to pay child support and <laughs> do almost... why is that a struggle why he's is it not, a struggle not, to... she just said that he's, he's not taking dad. well now she things are otherwise now she's out there struggling to get him to do what she needs him to do just like other baby mamas so she's kind of in the same boat which i've noticed that happens to a lot of women who say oh yeah like i like to date i've even seen this little black girls dating white men oh i like to date white guys because they treat me better and then when they're not together anymore he ain't paying child support he don't know you um you still have to go to court and do all this just to get him to do so it can happen in any race so 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 this is after she was defending joe about the the leaked uh audio well, there's this whole thing now that she was a part of it, that it's, that she, she has, there's a, what, a telephone conversation that both of them had or something mm-hmm. like that. Now, Did how she... did this telephone conversation get recorded in the first place if she didn't record it? No, no, no. She recorded it, but she did everything in private, and then she shared it with her friend. Why would Then she her re- friend had it for some reason, or I guess, or whatever, I don't know how, and, she, and the friend... Uh, leaked it out yeah but she didn't it was her it was her out. cousin yeah or maybe she let, let her sit let her tell you i don't know if i believe that if i'm gonna take the time to record anything, anything because because this is not something that people just do you <laughs> don't do you believe you how many telephone re- conversations have you recorded i think she recorded that because she was no i'm asking i'm asking of course she is exactly she's getting just leverage. in case like he wanted just like the uh what's her name with johnny depp if you're a celebrity and you are dealing with someone who is another celebrity and you record conversations you it's it's currency it's, it's like contraband and his, and his little his little colored girlfriend or whatever she was who Remember Don, 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 was it Don Imus talking about the nappy? Oh, no, but he said that on air. Like, what no, we're no, doing. he said that to her. He was saying, no, 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 this is different. He was saying to her, I don't want you to bring this uh, black uh, athlete to the house and blah, blah, blah. And she recorded oh, the whole you're, you're talking. Oh, you're talking about two different people. Don no, Imus was a, <laughs> was a oh, radio was personality. Yeah. And Don Imus... It was the one who on live on air was doing commentary for basketball and called them nappy headed hoes. Yes. You're talking about But he um, also did. You're you're talking about another guy who was the Clippers owner. Oh. His name I almost say Sterling. Yeah, you're right. 
he, and he was had a mistress. Yeah, he had a mistress. Who V was her name, who she was recording yes. their conversation. Yes. And he wasn't aware of them recording yes. the conversation. We the and when she needed the ammunition, she released the recording. That's what Sin was doing. Exactly. So that's we what Johnny Depp's ex wife was doing. Exactly. And, to and, that he was and this is what happened with the backfire. Well, the Mel Gibson one is a little different because he left that oh, as voice messages. Remember yeah, when I hope you get raped by a pack of. Yeah, that's different. So she's not in the same boat because he left that as a voice message. But these other people, they didn't know they were being recorded. Right. And she sent shared with her friend. And then I don't know how the friend had it. Because she, she gave it to it. her. But like, why? And then it was all of a sudden public. But but then after that, Sin was defending Joe. Like, Joe is a good father and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, because, it, it was all good. because this is what you do. This is 101, how to throw stones and ha- hide your hands. I mean, it's possible. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's what happens. That's what a lot of celebrity stories... Oh my god, I don't know how that got released. Like when we're talking about sometimes sex tapes. <laughs> oh my god, how did that someone came in and broke in my house and only stole my laptop and somehow knew my password, went through my video files, and then released a sex tape. It's I mean, it's hat. the same <sighs> come on. It's possible. So we're going through the same BS that she so called thought she was exempt from. So a lot of people are feeling like, oh, she's getting her karma, which I don't really believe in karma. But she's going through the same thing. What's her karma? What'd she do? There is. What'd she do? <laughs> this is, karma? again, the, the people who are on the bleed or the the, peop, the group of people that she rubbed wrong, which were some black women. Still now oh that she's God. getting her crom- karma. Like light skin versus dark skin. Again, well, no, not exactly. Or like not not uh, fully black and black. Again, uh, always, always I don't think it really matters. <laughs> it is what it is. I've just noticed that. So I try not to put any man above any group of men above. I don't think it matters. That to me, men are men, and yep. men can treat you bad and they can treat you good. It could be the same guy. Yep. So I will never boast and be like, oh, I only want to be with these men because these men treat me so well. Because you're always one day away. You could be another girl away from him treating you the complete opposite. I remember this black chick was like, I only date white men because white men don't cheat. And then, what? And then the white man that she was she was dating cheated on her with her friend. <gasps> and then the, the white dude... Uh, uh, asked to be forgiven and she forgave him oh. that sounds like a man thing to me oh. there's no color to cheating that I think you true. just like white men because of the physicality and the hair and maybe they don't because they don't talk a certain way I want me to just keep it real I want to just keep it real why you probably like the contrast of the color of the skin like just keep it real well I wouldn't even say that I mean i am I will give her the benefit of the doubt that she really did believe that. And I can see why she believed that. And then she goes back to it. Well, think about it. Like, if your whole life you watch these movies, and in these movies, you know, they have families and they took care of their women, and she got that attention from them, and maybe that was her assumption. Maybe she really bought into the whole marketing plan of, like, how white men are presented. And then she found out, oh, well bullshit can happen here too i also think that white men some not everyone have a black and fetish and it's, 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 it's a slavery thing it's like i dominate you with my pink dick and you used to come to my pink dick and my good credit and you love it and you love my coarse hair and i call you nigga in bed and you accept it because we love each other quote unquote and it's really because i have a black woman fetish and i love to overpower black women uh, because my, because I'm just, I love it, and I want to make these mixed babies and dominate the black woman. Well, it sounds like if you believe that, then you believe the same goes for white women who must be fetishizing black men under the same principle and purposes because they want to break a buck it's and very, then they want to have mixed children. It's very possible. It's very possible. Anything is possible. 
<laughs> um, that's a, how do you know when you're dating someone that they have a fetish? Especially you, because you're probably like a person being half Chinese, half black, that runs across the dating pool of people who have not dated other half Chinese, half black, and find you to be a novelty, and probably be like, oh, let's see what this is about. <laughs> so what's the question? So have you ever ran into that or not suspected? To say that. Oh, you know what? Or suspected it? I think a lot of, I think more, more Asian people run into that. To you? Yeah. So they'd be trying to get at you because you're half black. And but it's just different. It's different. What's different? Me. Oh, they you're never unique. dated somebody. They never dated me like someone a Blazing before. So what's it like when you go out with them? Like, do you feel like you're? k-pop star like they're in awe of you and they're i feel like the entertainment yeah because i because I, I, mean, I mean i i do make them laugh and i'm i'm a dj and blah 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 so i feel like the entertainment most of the time but do you make all the girls you go out with laugh or just the asian ones no, I'm, like, I'm, I'm me so yeah that's part of it with everybody do you feel like they laugh harder I'm not do you feel like they laugh harder or they're more excited about you the Asian girls? Yeah. I think it's both. I'm not boring. Okay, we get that, but I'm trying to understand how do Asian girls treat you differently because it's sounding like everybody it's treats you like, the same. More like, I, I don't, well, I can't say because I haven't seen them with other guys. So I don't know. Oh, but you're, so you're not noticing, are you noticing a difference between Asian girls you date and other girls or? Yes, because I feel like they're, they, they feel like because I'm not full Asian, they can't take me home to your parents. Oh, uh, so you feel so like they're you fighting. Wall. They're fighting. They have this inner struggle of they like me, but they can't take me home. So you've never basically progressed in a relationship with them. It's always been surface. So how I far? Only how far the, do you get? Only with the Filipino, to where I met the parent. I met her parent. So and you like to meet? Oh, and she was a single, single. Hmm? Yeah. She had a single parent household. Oh, no, like, her mom. It was just yeah, just her mom. But not the dad. Yeah. So I met the mom. I met the whole family mm-hmm. of sisters and the mom, and that was and that was cool. That was a cool little relationship, except for the for the ex boyfriend problem. But other than that, it was it was pretty good. So I I messed that up. So that's cute. So you like to meet the parents, like when you. I don't mind meeting when the parents. You, no. Is it kind of like a stage where when you like a girl? You want to meet her parents? Like, when do you? It's on her. Or you, it's always the one. Is that like a validation factor for you as meeting the parents? She's like, I want you to meet my parents, and then me. you're like, it's Yeah. Always them. Well, no, I'm asking. Like, do you feel like, oh, this is going somewhere? This is we're going to the next level if you meet parents. No, because I would have somebody meet my mom if she's there. <laughs> or like, if they came over to the house and I was still with my dad, like you'd have to meet my dad because he's there. It don't mean like I like you more. That's funny though. That don't that don't make the so you don't care escalate. But I like, care if we if we live together, then I would then I would need to know the parents because if something happens to her, I need to call the parents, and I would like to have a relationship with the parents if we are dating, if we are like monogamous and not dating. Now we are together, and we might happen to live together. I need to know everybody. Yeah. And they need to know everybody on my side because if something happens to one of us i need to call your parents and i need to be a remember i can't be like remember me i was dating your daughter i need to be like yo it's bishop blah 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 with your daughter you know what i'm saying yeah. <laughs> we have to have a relationship okay well that's that's cool i um i don't know i'm kind of like with you about meeting the parents like i don't really care it doesn't matter but there are some people that i don't probably want to meet my parents at all like my parents are no longer with us, but like I can imagine, like there were times where I don't, I don't want my parents to see me with this person because I really don't even want to. And then there are people who I don't care, so I guess. So the people you don't care would probably be good to meet the parents. The people you you care who you don't want them to meet your parents, probably it's like a, a, a phase or something. Like yeah, like I know this isn't gonna work gonna out, work. and I and I would 
prefer, or you're not going to be in my life even as a friend really very long. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So I let's just move this along. Like, yeah. oh, you don't need it. No, it's fine. Just stay in the car. Just going to run in real quick <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. and get something. You don't have to get out. You're good for dick, but that's it. <laughs> I will say there's been a you couple of those in my and, life and where dick me down, I'm like, I don't even want to like pretend. I don't want the investment. I don't want to hear about you when you're not around. I don't want or them asking me, how's like, so-and-so? Like, don't. You don't want to do no thing like, oh, they met my parents now. This is going to be a real serious now. Yeah, I don't, wanna, I don't want know, them even in that, have that mindset. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. That has happened before, like, for sure, for sure. Because it's, cause it's soon, like, a dude, like, oh, I met her mom. It's about to get serious. No, her mom just happened to be there really. in the supermarket. It means nothing. And there's never been a time where I was, like, so excited. Like, oh, I want you to meet my parents. Like, that, that hasn't ever really happened. Like, I feel like if you're in my life, then, you know, of course you're going to meet my parents. And it's never been, like, a big deal. Like, I'm keeping you away from them. Like if we're if we're cool, that I'm keeping you away from them. It's like oh, if we meet them, great. If not, whatever. Now when I meet their parents, that is really nerve wracking for me. I actually don't like that. God, you know what I'm thinking? Like I remember one time I had a conversation with this chick, and she was she thought I was Filipino, mm -hmm. and then when she found out I wasn't Filipino, she, she became racist. Talking. Was she Filipino? She was Filipino, yeah. Yeah, I, I thought you noticed were, that. Yeah. I did this other Asian shit. <laughs> she said, I thought you were Filipino. And she's not talking to you. That was the last year you heard from her. Yeah, I never talked to her again. And then this Cambodian shit. She, she, we were cool, like, hanging out and stuff, but she, we, she, we never went any further. I don't understand. she didn't want to. Is it bad? Like, if I was in that situation, what's wrong with you thinking I'm... I think like most, I think a lot of Asian people like live through pleasing their parents so much that you know they have probably had that conversation. If you bring a black person in there, you, you, you can no black people. Oh. It's but it's Bruno Mars. No, but he's not but black. what about fix? No, no black, no. Black. So. You know, I have a big cute. You just realized something for me. I have a big crush on Bruno Mars, and I would like to bring him. Which is weird because he's short. Like he's really you know, putting us on the map. <laughs> putting us? I'm sure. Oh, you? Me. Oh, short people? Okay. <laughs> you know what? And that's, we don't get a lot of attention. It might be the... We look like what are you want. talking about? You got Bobby Valentino. Unless we, are, unless we got money and we look like that, yeah. Omarion is not he short? We got money. He's a popular. Kevin Hart. All the popular people. There's a lot of... Popular we have guys. to look like that, like or like we have money. Like, like Kevin Hart? Money. Huh? You gotta look like Kevin Hart? We have to look like we have money. Prince? All talented and have money. <laughs> you can't be a regular Joe and be short. What happened to the guy who sings I Wish I Was a Little Bit Taller? Oh, Skilo? Yeah, where's Skilo at? Somebody told me they saw him in Hawaii. This is like years ago. Like he either visits or lives in Hawaii. And uh, he gets more caught out there than out here. Aww. They still play his song out yeah, here. And that was the only song that I can think of, like, that he released as a single. Yeah, another single, too, but nobody cared about that one, obviously. That's a good, that was a good song. Yeah, that I was wish a good little anthem. But, um, yeah, unless, we, unless you, if you're short and regular, I don't no mind go. short, man. No go. But, like, my thing about Bruno Mars is not because he's short. Sure. Like I, I think that would have probably like surprised me because it wouldn't have even occur to me. But yeah, he probably is short. My brother short. Oh, okay. I don't care. I still like. See, Bruno but Mars. how long did it take you to get there? Because I know you care. About what? About height. I don't think I really. Mm, no, I don't think so. I don't think it took me that long. I think no, because. When I was you didn't want like a basketball guys, player, dude. Like you didn't want like When a I first started being lady. attracted to guys, I remember I was in junior high school and I liked taller guys. But by the time I was in ninth grade, my first boyfriend was shorter than me. So it it's never been a huge thing for me. Well, you're, I dated you're guys. Yeah, one in a million. No, I'm not one in a million. There's yes, you there are. there are some girls that do not 
care about height. Like, if that was the case, then all those celebrities we just named would all be single still. No, no, they have money. Exactly. Now that I do care about. They have money. When you have money, you can look like a rock. I agree. Like a rock, not the rock, but a rock. Oh, the rock, he's cute. But I mean, I'm in the, I'm part of that girl group. Like, yeah, that's you could be Vernon Troy from Mini Me from Austin Powers. Well, and I'm still not, get girls. I'm not interested you got... in that. Well, they won't see. Then you already know the answer to my question. Then you get. Then I don't. You see why height isn't a factor for me. That's not a big deal. Yeah, but they, they have to have money. He can't be poor and short. That's kind of like, come on now. Who's poor and short? Nobody's dating somebody's poor. I'm talking Ex- about middle <laughs> exactly. class. Because think about it like this. Like that's an average that's girl. like me saying, asking you, well, have you ever dated a girl who was overweight? Like, oh, yes. very overweight? Was very, yes. Was very. <laughs> <laughs> very <overweight>. Exactly. <laughs> so yes. you see how yeah. I said, well, how short is he? I, that won't come out my mouth. But like. See, I've dated every but listen, size and every type of woman. No, 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 no. But would you date a girl who's overweight and ugly? No. Exactly. So there we go. That's... She has to be attractive. Exactly. Nobody's dating even short men who are handsome. No, but listen. No, that's not true. The point is, like, when you say, but he has to have money, that covers all bases. But men, she, it has, she has to be attractive, too, or she has to have a good body. You can't be both. You can have a good body and be ugly. I did that. Exactly. But I'm saying you can't have, have both. Have now, you can't be now both. They have you, to have personality too. you can't be ugly and overweight. That's no. what I'm saying. Exactly. But when it comes to girls or the group of girls that you were talking about, like, we don't care about that. Like, it's the most important part. Like, I'm not interested in a guy who's handsome and broke. Yeah. But you, but you learn to be that way now. You weren't like that all the time. You would just date somebody who was handsome. I think that like once you've been in certain situations where you feel like you're not being valued, because this is the thing. Grew to, you grew to your standard now. It's kind of like this. I look at handsome, broke guys like <laughs> my competition, like there are other women. <laughs> because they use their looks to get what they want. Yeah. And to me, that's what women kind of do. They use their looks to attract and get what they want. And like, yeah. that's not attractive to me. It's like, hey, look, you're Most doing, you're doing the same thing I'm doing. And they, I've and, done that. and you could see it. You see, like somebody posted a meme, and it was a picture of a girl who is at the cash register, paying, and the dude is hugging her from behind. That, that, What's that. The meme? What's it say? It's like, that's what it looks like when the, the girl who pays all the bills. Because that's how it looks. Like, I see it. And it don't matter what the girl looks like. She could be fat and ugly. And he's hugging her. Like, he's, he's canoodling up with her. Like, she's the best thing ever while she's paying. And the to me, that, that makes me feel like like the, like the that's the roles are reversed. And that's not attractive to me. When we, when we got breakfast today, the couple oh, of all of us, they saw that. Paid. I saw that, and he was rude to her. And he was rude. <laughs> and you saw that too? And he was rude. When, when she was like, who's the name? And he went like this. <laughs> he nudged her. So What's your name? We were we were, easily said, oh, okay. We were we were standing in line and there was a couple ordering breakfast. They happen to be Asian. I'm gonna put that out there for all the people who no, think this don't matter. happen. Oh well some people believe that this doesn't happen in other cultures. Okay, okay, okay. So that's why I'm putting out there they were Asian yeah. and um I guess and they ordered she paid and he ordered and she was putting the car she was busy trying to pay with putting her card in the machine and the lady was asking the name he didn't even step up and say his name he's nudging her like she's the boss like he tell tell him your name like very abrupt not not painfully but very like yeah it was like it was abrupt. it was, was low-key rude and so she said her name and then like the stuff that was ready he just grabbed it and started walking was, it was like i'm hoping they were brother and sister I hope so. I, too. Do that I don't too. think yeah, they I'll were, like, but yeah. but Go even back. if it was brother and sister, do you don't you think if they were brother and sister, the brother would have stepped up? No, I would have been like, please, you do, because you pay for it. It's gonna be under your name. Do you let your sister do that? Do you do that to your sister? I don't think you would do that to Can your you sister. Let her pay? 
I don't even, I don't believe you let your sister pay. I let her pay for like my birthday or something, and, she, and we said, and she said I got all paid. And yeah, like, okay, but like on a normal, and then like okay, so this is the thing. Too. Normally we go Dutch. Even if you, even if if somebody's paying for you, would you be that disrespectful, or would you Not be like, like that, oh that thank you, like <laughs> you know, like. Well, you're paying, and she's asking the name. You could, I could tell he her. He didn't have a funny bone. Yeah, he didn't. He didn't have a funny bone in his body, so he wouldn't have did what I, I would have done that, but made it funny. I would have been like, you know, I would have made it funny. But he was he, being rude. He, he was, was act, rude. He was treating her like a that. slave. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I would have never done that, son. He was overboard. He was the male dominant. Probably mad that he was short. Yeah, he, yeah, that was crazy. I, I, I'm hoping they were brother and sister because I can see like Asian so. siblings do that and be rude to each other. They act, and then mm-hmm. and then the and then the female just take it because she's probably used to it. But they were probably a couple. And do you think they were Korean? Oh, I think they were Chinese. Do you think they were Chinese? Okay. Um, I will say this. That, that's funny. You saw that. I didn't think you saw that. No, I did see it, and <laughs> I, I, I like, wanted to say something, but I didn't because they were right there. So I just I thought, and then I I wanted to say it. something too, but. I was like, I didn't did think you, you saw see it. that. I, I want to say, did you? I didn't think you saw it. Yeah, I saw that for real. Quick. That was amazing. <laughs> so, okay, so speaking of this, I've seen situations like this before where the dude kind of hustled the girl. So I oh, remember. Not only that, I've also done that. All of my friends have done that. Go. All right. I hope you. Stop. Are you still doing Oh, absolutely. Why would I keep doing I'm a grown-ass man. Okay, I'm glad you said that, grown-ass man. So, I was in Starbucks one time, and there was... This recent? Like, this year? Mm, it was two years ago. Okay. Um, I, it looked like it were people that were on a work break. So, it was like maybe four people, and two of them looked like they were more than just co-workers. They yeah. looked like, you know... They had a thing for each other. They were kind of walking closely there, there, there. and looking in each other's eyes. So the two Good co-workers, times. they order and they pay. And then this little canoodling couple, like, you know, what do they call it? When your your work husband, your work wife. That's <laughs> yeah. They look like each other's work, you know, yeah, spouse. So no, he, he orders and then she orders and then he goes to the bathroom. So the bill is now eight dollars and forty-five cents. He's in the bathroom, and she kind of looked around and said, "Okay," and she went and okay. wallet and oh, okay. paid. Okay. <laughs> and I was like, "Ain't that something?" I've never done that. I, we already know by the time we get there, she's paying. I don't. I've never done that. But she made it like she looked like, and I was like, "He just That's hustled funny. her." And then he, like, and then he has to come back out. And then he came back out. Of, yeah, he came back out of the bathroom conveniently after she paid. Yeah, no, you only four dollars. And it looked like they had a little. And then he changed the subject, and it was like every it's back on. And I was like, oh, oh, she, hell she kept no. trying to bring it back up. And he was like, no, no, she didn't ask for any money, but you could oh. tell she was kind of like feeling like. So now the canoodling, canoodling was over. Well, all he, no, all he has to do is turn it back on, and she's oh, back absolutely. in. That's I mean, how you do it, baby. Oh God, Keep ladies. A little kiss on the neck, a little whisper in the ear, a little touch on the forearm. <laughs> <laughs> we can't be that like you easy, ladies. We can't be that easy. The dick is too good. We dick you down. Okay, can I have a story? Some guy tried to try to hustle me out of some popcorn at a movie theater. And you want to know what I did? No, we were not even on a date. It was a situation where he liked my friend. And I somehow got stuck on the outing with him. And she didn't even show up. It was like he invited me and her to make her feel more comfortable. And she was so late that she didn't even show up. So I was with him and his friend and me. And I was like, oh, I was my fault i should i just should have yeah. held back well it's too late like and i really wanted to see this movie it, it was this movie that was like a release and and um they took our cell phones so i couldn't even use my you know i don't know it was it just was one like of those things i was ho- i was hoping she would make it right before the doors closed but the oh, doors closed so so i was like really thirsty and so i was like i'm gonna go get some water because i didn't want to just sit there with the two dudes like you know i'm not interested in either one of them he likes my friend it was just already awkward 
and he was like, oh, can you go get me some popcorn? And I was like, oh, and he's like, oh, my wallet is with my cell phone they checked. I'm like, who does that? Why like, is your wallet with your cell phone? Exactly. I didn't even. I didn't, like, we just want your cell phone. I didn't, it, I didn't believe that. And even if you just have to turn in your cell phone, why would you give them your wallet too, like your money? So what'd you say? I said, oh, okay. And so I went. Let me tell you what I did. Okay. So I went in the lobby. So and the it. line was so long. And I was thinking in my head, how? this because i am not buying this man anything okay say it say it like sexy like that i'm sorry i, I wasn't buying him anything yeah, it was that so is long. sexy because i am not buying him shit so i was standing in that line and then there was a vip line and no one was in it and so i walked over to the vip line and i was like can i just get a glass of water and he said well you have to have your vip and i said oh i don't want to buy anything can i just have a free glass of water he was like sure and so i got my glass of water Good and job. i went back that's that's customer service <laughs> especially when you say it like that <laughs> so then i went back and i said and he saw me and he was like where's my popcorn i was like oh the line was so long and the, only the vip was open and they said i couldn't buy anything there but they gave me some water so, so that's how I got it. Basically, you go waiting that long ass line. Yeah, I was feeling like I felt like what is the word for it? I was feeling like a heel. Like it just put me in that position that I don't like. Like, like made, where you like feel made like man. Era. Like you just feel like like woman. a like the target. It made me feel like. I was the one who really wanted to hang out with this group of people, and I didn't. And I have to do them favors to hang out. And I was like, no. And I was like, no, do like the sorry. popular kids and the nerd. And yeah. Nerd to like, the popular I was kids. like, how dare you make me feel like but that? But you just asked the popular kid to go get popcorn. Yeah. And I came so. back with my water, so I got what I want, and you're yeah. looking stupid. I'm like, you're not you're not getting popcorn out of me. I'm sorry. It was small, too, but I, I was just well, not having said? it. He looked disappointed, but I don't care. He got over it. Yeah, bitch, get your own popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> go, sell, go sell that. Sell whatever you got to get you some popcorn. Go find some other girl that, I don't know, happy to talk to you. It's not me. What, was he fine? Like, did you think he was Shamar Moore or something? I don't know, and I don't care. Why or? didn't he ask his friend to get him something? And his friend was another piece of work. I don't know. Did you guys sit, sit together? Yeah, we sat. It was... Signed seats? No. He saved a seat, too. I wouldn't have had a seat unless he had Oh, because it was crowded. He saved cool. four seats for all of us, and only three of us showed up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, at so the end... At the end of that, I do recall them both yelling at me, telling me that I was African, and that was the end of my night. What's that mean, you're African? They were yelling at me, telling Oh, this is so bad. What does that mean? Uh, they were saying that I'm African, and I was saying I don't believe I'm African. I'm one of those people. Not to disregard, but I like to have a distinction. Oh, you're making me go into this deep subject. You don't think you're African? From African descent? I'm not saying I'm not from African descent. I'm saying I'm not African. Like, nationally, I'm not African. No, you're not, no. Like, I'm I'm North American, I'm America, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm Black American, that's how I identify myself. And the reason why I identify myself that way is because when you, even when people say they're descendants from Africa, that includes everybody. White people can say the same thing, and I, I want to claim my group of people, and I don't want to be confused that of what group of people I am, which is why I don't say I'm African because Africa everybody claims everybody claims they're African. I I've seen white people claim they're know. African. There's people who from South Africa that came from France, Spain. Uh, I want to say Ireland, and they're African. I am not those people, so I don't want to confuse it. That's why I don't say that. I'm not saying that I'm not of African descent. I'm clearly not saying I'm not black. Charlize, if anything, I'm black first. Charlie Theron is 
African. That's what they said. She was born in Africa. That's why I don't say that. But anyway, they were yelling at me and they didn't want to, they didn't get what I was trying to say. And they were yelling at me, telling me I'm African. And I was like, okay, well, good night. And I still didn't get your popcorn. You can rub people the wrong way sometimes. Why? Because I said I'm not something. I think it's you. I think it's your <laughs> demeanor. I think it's the way you say things. I don't know. Like all I had know is if I had bought that popcorn and then at the end of the night you're yelling at me, I would really feel stupid, and it would have been all my fault. I think if you would have bought that popcorn, they they, they probably would have been yelling at you. <laughs> <laughs> it was like this bitch like us. Just, just trying to talk to more sexy, trying to get some pussy. Uh, no. She bought us they popcorn, reminded obviously. me of characters from the cartoon Fat Albert. That's how I felt. I was I was submerged in the Fat Albert cartoon. Whoopa be a bubba, you be African. Mm-hmm. That's exactly hey, what it what was. What do you mean you're not African? You African. You African descent. Africa is my descent. It was interesting to hear like guy talk. I sat in on some guy talk. That's always fun. I felt like they thought I was one of the guys. No, they wanted to fuck. Well, well, if they, they wanted, after you didn't get if, they, if they wanted to fuck, then I don't know why they would spend time telling me how they hustle girls out of their. Yeah, not anymore. Draws. You didn't buy the popcorn. Yeah. So, so now you, yeah, now you want to think of it. Okay. Well, that was fine, and and it was so interesting. Like they put in the least amount of effort, so that's why I know I like that whole popcorn thing. They're just used to doing this. This is just practice. I've seen. I went. I went to uh, dinner with my mom and. Uh, I saw these this, these dudes. It was three or four dudes with three or four women, black women. And these are black guys, and then um, I saw them eat and something, and then they just left. <gasps> and they left the girls there. And they get and the girls look stupid. They look like what just happened. I've and I saw I'm happened. I'm watching the whole thing, and these niggas thought they were doing something. Like pimp shit, you know what I'm saying? And they and these women look had dumb on their face. Like you know how that stupid chick had Drake on her forehead? They had dumb on, tattooed on their forehead. So the girls didn't leave too. They didn't know what they paid for the dinner and left. Yeah. Aww. You know it's funny. There was <laughs> when I first moved to LA. There was a group of girls that I hung out with, and. I never been a person that likes to go out every single night. So we went out. Really. And, they met some guys, I guess, and they wanted me to come, and I was just too tired, and I just opted out. They wanted, they went to go have sushi, and I remember that the guys started arguing when the bill came with each other amongst themselves about who's gonna pay for it or how they're gonna pay for it, and then they proceeded to stand up like they're gonna carry this argument, like away from the dinner table but weren't planning on coming back and i think one of my friends was like oh no i'm on them if they're getting up i'm getting up too yeah. and like they then the guy started running yeah and then everyone started running yeah. and i'm like i am so glad i was not there yeah this is what we did yeah. That is the ghetto. I can't. I cannot. It's not ghetto. I don't think it, uh, it's. Uh, I'm saying it's get yeah. that behavior is ghetto behavior, and I'm not saying ghetto as in black people. I'm just saying ghetto, like as in poor, poor yeah. people mentality. It's a story because then you go home and you're like, remember that time we went out and that bill? I don't want like that five story. Years later. <laughs> Look, not we had those fine ass chicks. Yeah. Oh God, we ran out. Yeah, I remember that shit was funny. I remember one time I was, ch- I was in Chinatown walking to my car and uh, all of a sudden like five little kids ran out of a Chinese restaurant and they were getting chased by a <laughs> manager or something because they, they, were... they, 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 uh, they ditched the bill. I don't know, so Chinese funny. restaurant which is probably like the cheapest you can get. Another restaurant. But these are kids though. These were kids. These were kids, like high school, mm. after you know, go like them, like them equivalent to going to McDonald's or something. But they wanted to go in, in a Chinese restaurant and, and dine and ditch. And I thought that was funny. Like how many times have how many people have done that? This guy right here. I will and say. Then later on, you talk about it because you got away with it. You talk about it, and it's funny. So I never it's ran a young boy out thing. on a bill. I just think that is so. Like, uh-uh. But I will say there was an incident it's that totally did happen. Yes. So what now? 
There was an incident that happened where I was at a restaurant with one of my friends and he was just having a problem. I guess him and the wait staff, like they just weren't gelling. And he asked for a sandwich that what it wasn't on the menu, but they had the items to make it. And he just asked them to make it. And then they did a piss poor job and he was upset. And he was like, you know, this is not what I wanted. Like did he eat it? you made no effort. No, he called oh, them over okay. just like you do, you know, the proper way you do, you call and you think, and then the girl was being argumentative. He said, I want to speak to the manager. And he was like, hey, look, I just asked for that. And this came out like, I'm not happy. Like, and then they said, no problem. We'll take care of it. And then the girl comes back with a bill anyway. And he says, I'm not paying for anything. Like, I'm leaving. And then he got up and then, and then we walked out of the restaurant and then the manager followed us saying, you didn't pay. And he told her he's not paying. And then we got in the car and drove off. So that was that's fine that that's, was that doesn't that was same. what happened with me but like that's not the same it was kind of silly of her because for her to say oh will you pay for this and like i have to pay for it it's like you don't know he's taking me out like he's he's the one paying so you don't make the person who's paying unhappy you accommodate them otherwise no one's getting any money like that was just what, what, that's what, hospitality what one restaurant was this it was a popular diner that's open all night. I'll just say that. Was it Amer Angeles. American food? Yeah. Um, yeah, that's on there. That's bad customer service. It's not like you guys don't it have was. food. You just, you, you're supposed to be like, well, okay, you don't want this. What can we do? It's on me. It's on the house. I've never had that situation, but I've never said that. That's so weird. And these weren't black people that were, it was, it was two Latino people arguing. <laughs> It was it was weird. it was weird and strange. Like the girl, I don't know why she, she maybe she really did have it out for him because it was weird. Like he kept like the, the like the waitress kept looking at him like that like she stole like he stole her man or, or like, something. Or like she, you were with a black woman. No, no. I I don't know. Don't know. It looked like that. Well, he's you don't know. he doesn't date women. I don't know. He doesn't date women. Mm -mm. Oh, he's gay. Yeah, it was. Oh. I didn't understand why, maybe, but maybe but the Latino community. But the looked down on well, her. the waitress. I think she was white, but I don't know. You she said had, Latino versus Latino. Well, the manager. Oh, the manager. Yeah. We don't know. We don't know. But this is the thing. It was weird because the waitress did keep giving him the stink eye yeah. every time she walked by and we was being know. condescending. I don't know. Like it was like yeah, like know. he stole her man. Like that's how she was acting. We don't know. Like maybe like. She had on her, on her period. Maybe. It was one of those things like she you had a run in with this person a long time ago and you don't remember what yeah. happened, but they know. remember. It looked like that. Yeah, but we don't. Know. Yeah, it was just strange. I remember when I went to this Filipino place and it was owned by my friend and we had a waiter and he was just young punk, but he was acting like an asshole. And I didn't, we didn't do, we didn't give tip. Everybody wanted to give tips and no, no tip. And I was telling my friend, I was like, dude, I don't want you to fire him, but you need to tell him that don't bring whatever he has to the table, to work. You, whatever you got going home or you don't like your job or whatever, don't bring it to work. Mm -hmm. I ain't giving him a tip. And he's like, all right, I understand. Him both. I don't know if you're talking or not, but... Like, not, we're not nobody at this table is giving this motherfucker a tip. He had an attitude. Yeah, attitude, man. Put the tape, put the dish down like, like you know what I'm saying? Like that. <laughs> man, you pick it up and do it again. Not toss it at you. Yeah, bro. Hoping like, something splash on your white shirt. Like he, looked like he had a bad day. Like he got an F on his, on his high school report card or some shit. Like don't. Oh, he no was he a high school age? He's like, like he's a baby. He's a so baby. I've noticed this. That's why I said I said my friend. I said don't fire him. Tell him he needs to have a better attitude. Don't bring whatever you have in your personal life to work. Because it's not going to work. Like you doing all this shit, being rude and shit. You don't know how we're, how we were going to take it. And we took it as you being rude. Don't bring your shit to work. That's all. And I, I told my boy that. And then we left. I said, he ain't getting a tip. I told him right there, if he ain't getting a tip, I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell you why. Because I know you. And this is what I want you to tell him. And that was it. I could definitely say I, as a teenager, I suffered from my attitude spilling over onto other people. Yeah, that's why I said he. I know he's a baby. Don't fire him. Tell him what he's doing is wrong. Don't, but don't fire him. You're just gonna make it worse. And I remember, like, 
because I used to work in fast food and they made me be the cash re- cashier and like, yeah, if I was having a bad day, everybody was getting it. And, and, and they had no, I didn't realize it until I probably went to a hot dog on a stick and the girl had an attitude. And I'm like, I don't even know you. What did I do? <laughs> I remember we were in Tennessee and my dad, we went to this uh, place. I don't remember the place. Maybe it might have been Trick's Chicken or something. I, don't know. I love Trick's Chicken. And uh, the, the, the chick there, the girl, she was a baby too, and she was rude. And <laughs> my dad said, wait a minute. We ain't never been here. We don't know the menu. We don't know. I don't know what you're frustrated about, but you need to get it together. Because we're we, <laughs> we not from here. And blah, 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 blah. And she was like, oh, I'm sorry, sir. Like, she ain't never been talked to like that by a grown ass man, an adult. You know what I'm saying? Like, you sound like she, the, a grown ass man the way you do his voice. She she bowed down and she was, because uh, she was wrong. And, um, uh, but my dad was nice about it. He was a gentleman about it. He wasn't yelling at her. He was very calm. He was just stern. You know what I'm saying? He had that stern dad voice. And I was just amazed because she just buckled down. Like she said, I'm sorry, sir, blah, blah. It's just I had a rough day. And he's like, I understand that. That's cool. But, you know, just be a little bit nicer and blah, blah, blah. And she was like, okay, I'm sorry. He's like, no problem. Just, you know. And then that was that. And then I thought that was, that's the way you handle it. You be a gentleman about it. You tell them about themselves. You don't let that shit go. But you, but he understood that she was a baby. Well, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna say this right now, and this will always hold: is that women respond to a gentleman. Say what? Women respond to. Oh, a gentleman. word up! <laughs> <laughs> like you yelling at them, blah blah blah. That don't that don't help nothing. No, don't yell. Just be like a gentleman. Just break it down, just like that. With your, with your suit and say, "Don't worry about with it, your baby." Suit. Here's a we t- were here's not a, in the suit. Here's a twenty. <laughs> Hopefully, your day will get better. Uh, yes, daddy. No, we ain't gonna do that. <laughs> We don't give you no money. You're going to have to earn that. We don't give you no money. No, a gentleman, a gentleman no. would see that she is upset because nope. something is A gentleman will see this, that you don't, you don't got to give world. these women money. You got to give them the game. No. Look, we'll, bring, we'll bring your dad as a guest next time. No, he, didn't, <laughs> he didn't give her money. He didn't give her money. You don't do that. Maybe. All you get is gift the gab. That's it. The gift of gab. Oh, that nothing is worse than that. That's 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 that's, that's what makes it. Oh man, when somebody. That's what makes a salesman be a salesman. When salesman. I have to say that is one of my pet peeves. You just oh opened up a whole Pandora's box. That's what pimping is. And when when a man has nothing to offer but the gift of gab, oh. And good day. I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. But I feel like I'm held Give hostage. Gift of gab. No. When you just got nothing to offer but the gift of gab and no money, like good you, you're not paying me to listen to your stories. Give you good day and pay you a day. Do you you know what it's like when you when you talk to someone of a certain age and they got they look like they've been starving to talk to another human being because they wife don't talk to them or they be they up work. at home all day long and then a, and, they, and they run a sto- they run a store and nobody comes in the store but somebody <laughs> comes in the store that has sense yeah. and they just are drawn to you and they just want to tell you stories about people you don't know Ooh, bro, I gotta go <laughs> What are we doing? What are you I doing, can't man? stand on? it. I, I sometimes I feel like there's men out there that go out on dates just so they can give the gift of gab because they haven't talked to somebody in so long. I don't think it's that. I think it's they just want to hear themselves talk. Yeah, because they, they don't care. They don't care about what you have to say in response to your story. They, they just want to tell the story. I oh, think, I think there should be a class for men to be like gentlemen. If you're really interested in how not to talk to women, I think women should be a part of that as far as teaching. Because so dudes don't know how to talk to women. And now that we're in like a Me Too and the woke season, like it's more imperative for men, like incels and all that other shit, to get out of this incel shit and learn how to talk to women and be a gentleman. And don't be so, you know, take it personal when the woman doesn't want to talk to you. Like, fuck her then. Like, Fuck her, but not fuck her. You know what I mean? Like, fuck her, like, you know, move on to the next. Okay, miss, you know, okay, well, enjoy your day. Bye. Like, don't take it so personal. Like, so stupid, dude. There, there are, it's funny because it, personality wise, there, I've met and I have dated guys who just like to talk. But if you're like, 
If you let them know that they're talking too much, they understand it because they know they talk too much. So they kind of hold back. They're like, oh, I'm sorry, I'm talking too much. Or sometimes they even say that, I'm talking too much. Like, that's not so bad. But there are literally some guys that they don't care who's sitting in front of them. <laughs> talk and tell the same story. I just think there's some dudes over who are like, and over again, are so chauvinistic yeah. that they don't, they don't, really don't care what you have to say. That's totally a pet peeve of mine, like, uh, like that, where they don't care who's there, as long as you look good and you're, you look like you're listening to a story from the outside in. <laughs> There's this girl, I don't know if you remember, well, I don't remember her name, so I'm gonna say you from college, but I can't, I don't know, but maybe you've heard of her, because she did go to our college, but uh, I don't want to say the college, because I don't want to give you guys credit, because I hate Anyway, there was this chick, so cute, body was amazing, talked so much, like I could literally put the phone over here, get a glass of water, and I did this, get a glass of water, come back, and she'd still be talking. I don't know how we, I don't know, well I do know why I called her, because I wanted to fuck, but yeah, it's, it, and I only tolerated it because of that, and then I remember talking to a dude, and I was with her in, in, the, in the cafeteria. And then she went to class or whatever, and the, and the guy, and I knew the guy. And the guy's like, man, you, you talk to that? I was like, yeah. He was like, man, she talked for an hour, and she talked about stuff. I was like, yeah, dude, like, right. what the fuck, dude? Like, I can't even, like, the only thing I can say was, and then what? Or, you know, it's kind of like jump rope. Like, I had to jump in <laughs> to get some conversation. About? She just talked about, like, her life and class. and life, Oh, my huh? God, I, I don't even remember what she was talking about. It was so much. I don't remember <laughs> I remember, I, don't remember. <laughs> I had a friend like that, and I remember I said, oh, well, I have to go, and she's like, okay, and then she would keep talking for another 10 minutes, I remember, what is that? I, I just some hung up and problem. pretended like the phone disconnected, because yeah. she would not get I did that too, phone. I've done that too, but I had to tell her too, God, I wish I remember her name, um, I remember, I think it's okay. um, and then one time, I, I didn't see her for like two or three years, and uh, I was in this study group at this, at Border, remember Borders? And the um, story, yeah. uh, she came in there and she was a little bit more chunky. I think she had a kid or something. But she's like, Oh, I remember you for somewhere. Like, yeah, I remember you for somewhere too. She didn't remember me. But Did was, you remember her? Oh, yeah, she's still And so face. basically, but I, she just talks to anyone and she's like, I think I remember you, but I know nothing about you because yeah, all I do is talk good. about myself. Because you know what? I just came in from Borders and I was just thinking, I want some coffee. And, but I don't know if they have coffee. But here's here. the thing. She wasn't like that anymore. Oh, she. Oh, you think the kid? I think the, the kid and whatever. Maybe this guy is super off her feet. Whatever. Maybe <gasps> this, whatever, that, whatever. I happened. think I know who this girl is. Was she young? Yeah, she was young. Because I feel like I ran into her and she did the same thing to me. She just had a kid, but then she started talking to me to death about how having a kid and motherhood is the big, best thing beautiful ever. Beautiful brown eyes. She and had, she, was I think she was short. short. Yeah, no, that I girl. Think she was mixed or light skinned. Yes, and that girl still talks because she ended up cornering me at a store, telling me how the best thing of motherhood was to her, and she didn't stop talking for a long time. Oh, and I don't even her. really know her. Yeah, this is probably her. It's the same girl. I'm yes, because she. I know. I know who she had a baby by. Yeah, it's the same girl. I didn't remember her going to that school, but yeah. I knew I knew her, yeah. She's short and yeah, she was very, light very skin cute. or mixed. And I she, can see her face right mm -hmm. now. I got I had I had her in her she prime. She was cute. Was, she was so cute. She was a cute little girl. Like she just talked. And she, she had a nice. short, like a short girl voice. Like yes. a little she sounded like a little person. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I know who you're talking. Yeah. Oh my god, it's so funny. Yeah, I can yeah. tell you her name, but I did have an experience. Nobody knows that. her name. <laughs> Yeah, she talks about everything but her name. I need to know if anybody. I, I just I know like a few psychiatrists. Or I need to know the psychological infrastructure of why those people exist, and how 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 do you have a relationship with somebody like that? Well, I just imagine I, in my mind. I remember when she was talking about motherhood. I was like, hmm, I wonder how you got pregnant. Were you just talking? And he just said, Let me pull your panties off. That's the thing. Like when it came talking. to that. And kept talking, and then oh, it was no. too late. Like yeah, no. when it came to that, there was no talking. Oh, okay. Well, I don't know. In my mind, this is how it happened. In fact, that like, was the best. I was like on the phone, like, can you just come over? Like, can we talk in person? Because goddamn, that's dude. the only way. 
Um, there are. That's the best time we can have a conversation when you come over. I'm not a therapist or anything like that, but I do know that sometimes people do that out of nervousness and to um, fill in the empty space, like they're uncomfortable. In it's not fair though. How's that fair to have a? We can't have a conversation. But I don't think they look at it that way. I think they're not. I don't think that people who do that necessarily dominate things. They're. I think they're trying to show their value, and they do that by talking. Like, they I, don't feel comfortable, like, just being, you know, in the state of being. I think I brought that up one time. I think I said, I said uh, something to the fact of, like, you know you talk a lot. Like, yeah, you don't give me, <laughs> you don't give me a, a chance to get to know you and have a conversation, conversation with you, which is, I'm pretty sure I said that because I did, I wanted to get to know her. Like, I really liked her, you know, besides it's the funny. fact that she was physically attractive, but, like, I wanted to get to know her. And I was telling her, like, there's no way I can get to know you when you keep talking. Like, how are we going to do this? And it's funny how that is a conundrum that you talk, but you never, but I still can't get to know you because what you're talking about. Because so, they, because they're not talking about themselves. They're talking about everything else. So like, I don't, I don't, I can see how she can get pregnant because she's bad. And, you know, you bust a nut and you want to, you know, she had a dope ass body and shit. But I don't see the, how the guy would stay. Cause I don't know. Who. I I know the guy too, and you know what's so funny is the guy. Cause I went to high school with that guy, and he was quiet. Oh, so that works out. He was quiet. Yeah, like I'm a talk. I didn't know him to talk. I like. I'm sure he had friends, and a bunch of girls had a crush on him, but he was quiet. And I I even know people that came up to him and tried to get a rise out of him. I remember some girl said, "You know, so and so was talking about you," and he said to her, "Well, if he didn't come up to me and say it, then I don't care." And we was like, "Who oh, we like him?" That's how you do it. That's how you do it. <laughs> he was just minding his own business, like he was that dude. Oh, he was very attractive, and that made him even more attractive. It made him, like, think about this. This is high school, and to me, that's like a grown man type of behavior. Like, uh, you're quiet, you're about your business, you mind your own business, yeah. and you're doing fine. You stay out of it. Like, you're Perfect. not being a teenager, Perfect. so to speak. Perfect combo. So you can't have no dude who's trying to like, have a conversation and shit. I remember when I saw it at board, I was like, I, I, I was like oh my God, am I going to have to hear? this <laughs> and have to like walk away slowly <laughs> while she keeps talking so talking yeah i guess that's both of our pet peeves like another pet peeve that i have we is can't, like we, wait, 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 we can't do pet peeves this isn't the pet peeve oh this isn't the pet peeve no okay we're well then the we're done line. you are all over the place no we're not we we went from joe button to this chick we know from college hey it's been an hour we need to keep moving so what do you want to do all right well we're gonna cut this out this has been the bishop this is Erica Milani. Thanks for listening, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye. Amazing.